White people, as I said in the piece, cannot do for us what we refuse to do for ourselves. Whether or not whites like blacks or blacks like whites, I frankly have no interest in that at all. I have no interest in managed society. I'm not interested in having to sit next to people because they're white. I'm interested in being equal. And the only way you're equal is to have power. Not whether or not white people have been fair, not whether they're nice people, not whether or not black people are good or bad, but whether or not you as a community of people have the instruments of defense and in some cases of aggression to protect your turf and or your interests. You can't have 30 million people handing over to another people 100% of their resources and blaming them for 100% of their problems. That is not intelligent. So what we need to do in the black community is A, decide to be competitive. And the only way we're going to be competitive is to use our resources. Yeah, we back. Now, first of all, big shout out to the speaker. I believe his name is Tony Brown. And listen, man, it seems we've been having these conversations for decades and decades, man. I don't know what year that recording came out, but judging by the video quality, that definitely was at least 20 to 30, 40 years ago. And we still having the same conversations in 2022. And everything he said was absolute facts, top to bottom. First of all, listen, I understand his main focus during that whole discussion was mainly to North America, but everything he said can be applied to black people worldwide. The part that hit me in the chest the most was when he said, you can't have a group of people giving up 100% of their resources to another group of people and then blaming that same group of people for all your problems, man. That part hit me in the chest like a ton of bricks and I'll tell you why. Listen, when he said 100% of your resources, he was talking way more than just the dollars, the consumer spending. He was talking about your brains. He was talking about your labor. You cannot give 100% of your resources to another group, right? You give all your best and brightest minds to go work in their companies. You give, you know, weeks and decades and years of your labor, time off your life. You go to their schools, you enrich their economy. You spend, you spend money in their economy. You give up everything you have. They say the black dollar only stays in the black community for a few hours. So as soon as you get the dollar, you send it right out to community into another community. You cannot give up everything you have and then at the same time complain about how this other group is oppressing you. This other group is keeping you back. This other group is holding you back. This other group is holding you down. And you don't even attempt to compete. You don't even attempt to utilize, like he said, the instruments of defense and sometimes aggression to enforce your interests. We don't even think on this level collectively as a community, right? The business model that we follow is integration. And integration is exactly that, giving up 100% of your resources to another group of people in hope that collaborating with them, getting involved in their system will somehow you think that somehow power is gonna rub off on you. You think prosperity is somehow gonna rub off on you by association, by standing next to another group of people, by getting integrated with another group of people, when in reality, you have to establish your own center of power. You have to establish and enforce your own sphere of influence. It's not about whether they like you or they hate you or whether you like them or you hate them. It's about, can you enforce your interests? Can you propose your interest and also enforce it at the same time? Can you defend your interests? Can you play both offense and defense collectively? Because that's what it's about. Honestly, man, life is so similar to sports. It's not even it's not even funny. And black men, listen, we are the best athletes on the planet. When it comes to sports, that's our domain. So we should understand the mindset of sports and be able to apply that to real life in terms of looking at life as a competition. Like I said, I dropped a video like two days ago. Black men must understand life is a competition. And in my opinion, we waste so much time focusing on the emotional aspects of society. You know, getting triggered by these little racist videos. Oh, I saw this white woman at Walmart. She dropped the N word. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look how much they're, you know, they hate us so much. Like all this emotional BS. Like stop with the emotional nonsense, bro. Let's talk money. Let's talk dollars and cents. Let's talk actually building something for our people, for our community. Let's talk about establishing power. Let's talk about establishing our sphere of influence. Let's talk about some real shit. Let's talk about some real shit, bro. I'm tired of the, I'm tired of the nonsense, man. I'm tired of the nonsense. Nonsense. I'm tired of the emotional nonsense. I'm tired of the superficial nonsense. You know, it is what it is. We got to get to it, man. Dollars and cents. We talk about tangible things now. This is what it's about. The, the mindset of the intelligent black man should be focused on dollars and cents and tangible things. Like Tony Brown said in the beginning of the video, utilizing the instruments of defense and sometimes aggression in order to defend your interests. Now, what are your interests that you got to figure out? collectively and individually right so that's something we got to speak about in private amongst black men but listen because some of us we got all type of different interests but at the end of the day i think all of us want to see our people in a prosperous and a comfortable and a safe position you know what i mean i think i think that's all i think that's what we all want so at the end of the day there's different 
ways to get to the same destination. And that's something we have to understand individually and then collectively and then broaden it out worldwide. Right. Because at the end of the day, we are all suffering under the same things. All of our problems are kind of similar in their own different ways, depending on the location and where you at. But at the end of the day, man, everything he said was absolute facts. And this is it, man. The mindset of the intelligent black man. It's your boy Nefakar Desaline back in the building. Yes, indeed. And I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart it be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension Enemy watching, he blocking my vision Get for the check cause I need my redemption Building my kingdom, I need to protect it Ready for war like a young money Congo Never decided the team is the motto Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious I came for the power, they came for the bitch They make a no hour, they wedge, I got business This shit is an art, and they can never be taught Selling my soul, I can never be bought Play with my money, I see you in court Run to the check and I do it for sport Babylon falling, I go to the source Packing my luggage and go overseas Shorty be with me and she so at least Shorty be charged and I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence probably gon' murder me Don't fuck with brands cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces